All righty. It's day. It's the day we plan to fly outdoors for the first time. So what we're having Liam do is Liam is going to just do a couple of recalls just to remind him that it is easy for him to fly. He does recall well. So we just want to cement this in his head. So we're going to try to get let him get himself stretched out and his paying attention. Now we want to call him as soon as he gets ready to make that jump. You'll give him the... Yes. Yeah. Good. Just like that. What we would like to accomplish is a quick recall. So by watching the bird's body language carefully, take him back and put him on the perch. If you walk just a few steps and put him on, the reason that you might want to do it that way, going over and putting him on the perch, is when you're outdoors, you don't want to throw him back to the perch the first time, okay. right? Because you want him to know it's a back and forth game now. Because we get outdoors in the wide open spaces, it's a different. I want you to stay close. This is just exactly closer, like four feet or so, just like that. Call them again. Yeah, come. If we can get the bird to recall quickly, it becomes a habit. And that habit transitions to being a lifelong habit. So what we're doing here is because the bird didn't come soon enough, you turn your back and walk away. Take away the opportunity and then you wait and watch the body language. And what we're doing here is we're watching to see when Liam is paying attention. And right now, since he's not, I ask Leo to turn his back and walk away, take away the opportunity. Now you can see Liam the bird is, is engaged in paying attention. So now Leo can go back and ask the bird to come. We're looking for quicker reactions than this. So we're probably gonna tell Leo to turn around, turn his back on the bird, walk away, take away the opportunity. Now, now you can right? see how quickly so that bird got no no a little confused. And now we're going to put him right back on the perch without any now, positive reinforcement whatsoever. Bird's going to have to figure out what we want. We want that bird to recall when we call. He's confused right now, right? So he's trying to figure out, I came to you, why it was I didn't, why did he get put back here so quickly? Leo, come. Yeah, he's figuring this out. All right, now turn around, take your steps, pay attention, and call him. Yeah, come. Yeah, come. Let him work it out. Give him a minute. Come. Yes. See, you were paying attention more closely to him being ready, right? And so that's we get that marriage of that magic of timing. And now he came when you called, so yeah, he gets to be loved up because that's what he wants. Then what we also want to do now is um, let's go get him his favorite treat, his pine nut, and let's, um, do you have any with you? I don't have any. Small plate pieces because this guy only works on small pieces of treat. Let's try to put a couple of cashews in there. Okay, see what we got going on here? Okay, yeah, you get to earn this. Work for it. Okay. So go ahead and put him back on the perch. All right, now wait till he finishes that. And I wouldn't have given him that just for stepping him back off on the perch, okay? Okay. Kind of, kind of make sure that these are valuable. All right, as soon as he's done, I want you to give him this, the cue and watch the behavior. And if he doesn't respond within probably five or seven seconds, turn your back and walk. Give him the cue. William, come. Perfect. Exactly. Perfect. Okay. Let's do one more of those, and then we're done with this indoor drill. 